wasn't something that you wanted to address on a different subject. I, I did. I, I really, really did because I made a mistake last week and I want to make sure that I clarify myself. Last week, when discussing the incredible accomplishments of Andrew Wiggins this season, an all-star, by the way, congratulations to him, I introduced this religion in the discussion about vaccination. So let me say this. People have been making some noise about it. I could have and should have been more clear in that discussion because I fully understand that Jehovah's Witnesses have no specific opposition to the vaccine. I did not make that clear. Yeah. So I want to make sure I make that now. And my apologies for the mishap. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, thank you for that. And we all respect right. all people and all religions Absolutely. here on the show and on ESPN totally. always. Totally. Even though it's the quietest 18 point per game scorer I've ever seen, that's just how I feel about him. I'm not saying he can't play. I'm saying he's not assertive when he needs to be. And as a result, that's why I don't think that great of him, even though I know he can play. But this situation with the vaccination really has me vexed in this regard. And I think it's important to point out. Andrew Wiggins right now, because of the vaccination mandate in the city of San Francisco, would not be able to play in 41 home games for the Golden State Warriors. Then what you need him for, what good is he to you? Now, the only state right now, the only cities right now in mm -hmm. the NBA that have those vaccination mandates are New York City mm -hmm. and San Francisco, which means that KD and Kyrie and them in Brooklyn, I don't know their status, but it could be problematic for them. It could be problematic for the New York Knicks, of course. So those are issues that you have to deal with. Golden State Warriors about to compete for a championship. Klay Thompson's coming back. Steph Curry's there. OK, and by the way, you know, once upon a time, I was pushing Trey Wiggins along with another play in two first round picks or whatever to go and get yourself Ben Simmons. Yeah. But they don't believe Ben Simmons and Draymond Green meshes. But my issue with the vaccination, I will repeat what I said the other day. I'm not going after athletes or anybody else, but in the NBA, you got the coaches, you got the medical staff, NBA personnel. Everybody has to be vaccinated. The only people that don't have to be is the players. Makes no sense to me. I know they can't do it because you got to negotiate that with the Players Association. But still in all, it's a bad situation. The most important thing to point out is this, and I'll move on. When you get a prescription from a doctor, mm -hmm. you get the prescription, you go to the doctor. I'm saying you get the prescription from the doctor, you go to the pharmacy, yeah. you get it filled, you take it. Yeah. If you are one of those dudes that grabs a prescription and Googles every ingredient to see what's in it, before you take it, I got nothing to say to you. I got. I still think you should be vaccinated, but I got nothing to say because your position is consistent. Mm -hmm. But professional athletes are notorious for putting things in their body they don't even know. And all of a sudden, now that you have the ability to harm other people because you could potentially damage them, contaminate them if you contract COVID, suddenly you want to get righteous and be like, no, nah, I'm not taking this. That makes no sense to me. But according to him, not by choice. Wiggins' decision to get the COVID-19 vaccination comes after the league recently declined his application for a religious exemption. He went into detail last night in his post-game press conference about why he was so hesitant to get the shot, but ultimately did. I feel like the only options was to get vaccinated or not play in the NBA. <laughs> um, it was a tough decision. I guess Jehovah's Witnesses are starting to allow beards now because according to everything that I know, it's not allowed. Hopefully, you know, it works out in the long run and 10 years, I'm so healthy. <laughs> you know, I guess to, to do certain stuff, you know, to work and, and all that, I guess you don't own your body. <laughs> you know, that's what it comes down to. When I became a member of the Bethel family, Jehovah's Witnesses headquarters, I remember on my second day having to go to Bethel office and sign documentation that you don't own your body. I would be sharing copies of those documents on my private Discord platform. Make sure you subscribe and join the platform. So Wiggins saying he was forced and that it was an indication that you don't own your body. Ramona, what do you make of the situation with Wiggins as it stands right now? Well, look, I'm glad he went into detail and it wasn't just 
the way he felt about getting it. He said he felt forced. Um, he also explained he had an allergic reaction to a medication a little while ago, um, and that scared him about what he would, the reaction he might have to the vaccine. He, he talked about maybe the long-term effects of the vaccine and not understanding it. All of those things are, are questions that people who are hesitant to get the vaccine are investigating, are having to answer for themselves, and they come to the same decision point with, with Wiggins, especially if they have a, if their employer mandates that, where they have to make a decision. And, and I think it's really good to detail your thought process of how you get to the decision to to get the vaccine and and I, I also appreciate him saying I appreciate my my teammates giving me some latitude here and and I, I think it's we're at a stage now where we have to listen to people like whether you think they're right or wrong or what you would do personally like is I, I think it's been nice to watch that process unfold of how his teammates gave him some some latitude and he ultimately got to this place well you, you know what here's the thing right I hear about all these researchers and all these these concerns mm -hmm about the vaccination, okay? And as a former player, a guy that went through nine different surgeries, a guy that played with a lot of Hall of Famers, played had hundreds of teammates, I watched a lot of people go under surgery. I had to go yeah. visit them in the house to make sure that their spears was up. And you know what was right next to their bed on their on on nightstand? It was prescription bottles. Prescription bottles that they either picked up from Walgreens or CVS, that the doctor prescribed to them, whether it was for, for, for swelling or pain or yeah. whatever the case may have been. And those guys didn't know nothing about their medication except to, let me, I gotta make sure I take it for every four to six hours. I gotta take this one yeah. uh, at eight o'clock in the morning at 12 o'clock. I gotta take this other pill at uh, one time a day and hadn't did no research on it, so you trusted the doctors then. Why don't you trust them now? And I think mm -hmm. right now, it's not about guys actually not trusting the doctors or the teams. It's just becoming a political thing more so than anything. Because in my history, I never went did research on prescription bottles after I finished uh, getting surgeries. I just knew, hey, I'm in pain. I need for this swelling to go down. And if the doctor told me this is for inflammation and for whatever it's called and, and this is for pain, I went and took them. I was popping them like hot toddies. <laughs> What's Look, the new thing going on around here? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, he said he was forced, but it, it was his decision. It's his decision to continue to play in the NBA because those are yep. the rules that are... Um, allowing him to do so. Uh, he said he received the one dose Johnson and Johnson shot, which will allow him to not miss any practice time and be fully vaccinated. Steph thought about that from the hash mark. Not the first half of this game, that's for sure. Wiggins underneath. Oh my goodness! Air Canada just demolished the tower. Well, you could you could tell that was gonna happen. Can't get it to go in now. Rubio threads the needle to Wiggins and Andrew Skies for the exclamation point dunk. Grant is short. Free throw is part of the storyline here tonight. Minnesota 11 and 13, the Thunder 6 and 12. Wiggins packs it. Above his career average this season. Wiggins, some Wick Sanity touching down here at Target Center. Are you kidding? Wow. That's what I'm talking about. On the floor for the first time tonight, he has played much better of late. Back to back double digit scoring Ooh. efforts for him. Oh my goodness, Andrew Wiggins just elevated. And it's a four-point deficit for Toronto. They trail by nine. They've never led here. Wiggins trying to put on a show as he gets by in the defense in a slam dunk, and he's got 11 T of his team's 22. Only two turnovers in the second half, none in the fourth quarter. Andrew Wiggins flying through the air, attacks the rim, and an add one for Andrew Wiggins. Wow chance to make it a two possession game with a basket right here. He wants to go right. He wants to go right. That's, that's what he does. It is a six point game. Uh, 
Wiggins goes left and puts it away. Rebounds. Great job by Carl Anthony Towns. And now Wiggins running out. Ooh. Oh my goodness! Andrew Wiggins just threw it down over Kevin Durant. The Mavericks looking to make it even closer. David Lee gets stripped to the ball. Andrew out of there with it. Wiggins, what a spin and an even better finish. Andrew put it all on display early on here. This time Big East Player of the Year. Wiggins soaring. Oh. oh, man. Andrew Wiggins dropped the hammer as he floated by. Oh, yeah. It's hard to dismiss what Westbrook is doing, but great defense by Rubio. Shabazz leaves it for Wiggins, and Andrew does the rest. Whoa! Climbs the ladder for the throwdown. I think success Minnesota Wild also get a shout out. They in the hunt for the playoffs as well. Andrew Wiggins, oh! He throws it down against the Raptors. Until recently, they fell out. Timberwolves have played extremely well following two straight losses, and they play extremely well coming out of the locker room at halftime. The alley oop from Jeff Teague to Andrew Wiggins. Oh, what a move oh, by Wiggins. Wow. That's, uh, I mean, that's explosive. Just oh. split. The, oh, take your breath away, B. Wiggins gets past Lopez and some weird sanity here. Making a late arrival run for the Magic. Credit this Orlando team for refusing to go away. Oh, my goodness, Andrew Wiggins can Jim, ever since kind of hinting that he, oh, Andrew Wiggins set up beautifully by Jeff Teague for the dunk. Team, albeit briefly, 2 nothing on the bucket by Jimmy Butler to start the night. Gibson out of the corner and a putback by Andrew Wiggins. That was emphatic. 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Wolves up by two. Wiggins, oh my! A resounding smash by Wiggins. Oh boy. Well, he has two scores in a row. The last two. 10 straight Piston points. It's now 102-89. Marcus Morris with 32. What a jam by Andrew Wiggins. It'll be a big time for Tyus Jones to be able to prove himself. He's doing it. Wolves forced to turn over. Gorgie Jang leaves it for Andrew Wiggins. Who flushes it home? He tries to take it to Ryan on the back of Jonas Valanciunas. Five game. Wiggins, wow! How about the elevation as he gets up to stuff it? This quick dunk did. He just kept getting higher and higher. Memphis Grizzlies and Jason Quick, who covers the Trailblazers for the Athletic, tweeted out that. Following the game, Damian Lillard says he will not compete in the All-Star Game or three-point contest because of the groin injury. Defense. Kevin Martin forces the turnover. Wiggins ahead to Martin. Blocked by Jeremy Grant, but Wiggins picks it up and wins Saturday in the house and one. Say, come on, guys, follow my lead. Ricky Rubio feeding Andrew Wiggins. <laughs> Wiggins, attack, Simmons, Andrew Wiggins flies again! In the corner of the Philadelphia Eagles in the game tomorrow. Andrew Wiggins just threw down a second one against the Raptors. Maybe not as impressive. Look at the pressure that, that Memphis puts on you. Great spin move by Wiggins who rises for the stuff. That's how you counter the pressure. Wiggins. Gibson fighting for it. Towns comes down with it. Can't get it to go. Andrew Wiggins just leaped out of the gym. Man, it's like the Peace Jam. Light special. Setting some records. Wiggins. Ooh. And you, when he does that, you show flashes of brilliance. By Miritich, they don't get it. Towns gets a block. Man.
That is unbelievable. That's one of the best defensive plays Carl Anthony Towns has ever made. Second rejection by Towns tonight, and then Wiggins off the feet from Carl Anthony Towns. Andrew. It's the edge of the envelope here, even though his team is tired. Shot clock at seven. Wiggins down the lane. Wiggins putting it down and drawing the foul. Yo, he is. The Timberwolves will be in the bonus going the rest of the way. Wiggins attacking and Andrew slamming. Draymond Green fired it down to Looney. Looney did a good job of busting up that play. That was a set play. This time it's Wiggins taking it hard to the rack. Scoring and rebounding. Gadala to Jordan Poole, his three. 